Good afternoon, everybody. Today I went onto the channel. I haven't been on in a while, and uh, checked it out. And it turns out we hit our one million. Although we had a little over one million views today, which is just fantastic. Thank you all for watching. And so, in celebration of that, today we're going to one of our favorites, AddictingGames.com, for Bermuda Escape. Pretty cool game. Pretty simple game. Really awesome game. Um, you want to pick up the scuba gear, all of it. There's some in here, it's scattered all over the place. You can play with this stuff, I do. It's not necessary, but why not? Maybe it is necessary, actually. I've never even tried to play it without doing that. Anyway, to the left, there's a, uh, I guess, log. Captain's log, yeah. And you read through it, and there's some information. Da da da. Don't grab that just yet, because I want to show you guys a couple other things. This, you want to keep that in your head, take a mental photograph. We're going to use that. That you don't so much need, but it's very educational to where is the Bermuda Triangle. Where is the Bermuda Triangle? You know what I'm trying to say. Now you can grab that thing. And we're out of here. We're actually not out of here. For some reason, even though we're in a boat of water, we can still hold our breath for as long as we want, so don't worry about uh, running out of air. But just to be safe, go ahead and open up this drawer to get the octopus and these fins. Put the octopus on the air tank, and uh, I think that's everything we need from in here. To the left, to the left, there's uh, some manta rays that you want to poke out of the way. I think it's this one. Yep, this one has a, what is it? Oh, the a plate under it. Hold on, I'm going to turn down my volume. I always put my volume too loud. You ever notice that? It's deafening. And also over here there's an orb that we're going to use in just a moment. Um, two things over here. You want to click on that. That's the other half of that plate. Go ahead and combine that. And pay attention to these symbols on the rock over here. Four diamonds, a circle, and another four diamond. Alright, so moving on, going towards this big orb thing. Put in the plates and climb on through. And we're inside, grab this other orb. And do those symbols, still too loud. There we go. Oh, this one was uh, the... No, I had it right. Yeah, it's the other one. There we go. Perfect. And apparently there was someone else here. Hmm. Alright, this is the one that we saw in our journal. You, what you want to do is you want to twist it until you make that shape that was in there. And it was like two L's going outward. There's one, if you see what I mean. And then there's this one was the darker one. And then this one was just light on this side and then dark on that side. And you get the blue matrix. The matrix. This one it looks hard, but it's actually not. All you got to do is line up the three shapes, like so. That one's square. This one's going to be circles. Right? Yep. And this one down here is going to be triangles. First time I did it, I thought you needed some. It was, yeah, it was bad, to say the least. Red matrix, moving on. This one is the classic triangle illusion. I forget what it's called. I think it has a different name than triangle illusion. In fact, I'm pretty darn sure it does. But that's what I'm going to call it. And all you got to do is make it work. Boom. Alright, that's the green matrix. And then grab over here, don't forget it, the orb. Another orb. Obvious what you do here. Insert all the matrices. And get all these cube things. And I think that's all we need from in there. Grab the orb, as usual. Don't need to tell you what to do here. Very cool. In here, we're going to take a detour and grab that orb. That's all you need from in there. These things are fun to play with. Not to eat. Play-doh. No, just kidding. Um, they, don't, they don't move or anything. So what you want to do is you want to use these orbs in their respective places wherever those are. And then we receive this 
doohickey key code is what they call it. And we're almost done actually. These eyeball looking things open up and bounce. But the one we're concerned with is this one. The only one we're concerned with actually. And so click on it and click on it once more. And it does its thing. Reminds me of Bioshock, which I just beat a couple months ago by the way. It was awesome. Working on the second one right now. Don't have much time, but getting through it. And guess what? That's it. That's the end of the Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, everybody, thank you again so much for all to all my subscribers, to all my viewers, whoever you may be. I don't care if you don't subscribe. Just thank you for watching. And um, thanks for the million views. You guys are great. Keep on gaming. I'm out of here. Enjoy your weekend. See ya.